In this SnowRunner Season Pass 2 video, I look at the evidence to see how likely, or unlikely it is, for another year of DLC content. Remember when I did a video about the things I'd love to see in a SnowRunner sequel, and said we would hear soon if the DLC Season Pass continues for another year? Well, that time appears to have arrived. The rumour of a second season pass comes via my trusty source, who spotted some incriminating evidence on the SnowRunner Nintendo Switch store page, which had been posted in the official Discord by Mr. Jellyfoosh. If we scroll down on the official Nintendo Switch store page, which has SnowRunner priced at $39.99 or £35, probably €35, Euros, we see something curious. Oh look, in that photo it says Year One Pass. Why oh why would it say Year One Pass if there was no Year Two Pass? If you need further proof, allow me to keep on scrolling down. For you see under the Classico pack, the controversial DLC that gave you the Chevrolet Apache 6x6 and a custom paint job, we see a little sentence that all but officially confirms a Season Pass 2. What does it say? Quote, this DLC is not included in the Year 1 Pass or the Year 2 Pass. Interestingly, we see the same sentence under the Western Star 49X DLC. Now let's not jump to any conclusions. Maybe Nintendo accidentally thought there was a second season pass. Maybe somebody accidentally created a graphic to say Year 1 Pass, as opposed to Season Pass like we have now. It's possible, right? Adding fuel to the already raging rumour inferno is that the recent SnowRunner Steam release date announcement video on the channel also contains the same Year One Pass mentions. That seems like too many accidental mentions to me. In my humble opinion, I envision an official Yeet 2 Pass, as it should be called, announcement coming soon, because a SnowRunner sequel in a year since launch was unlikely. And as much as I'm excited for another off-road trucking game with a bit less snow, a DLC continuation makes sense. It's more of a question of when, not if, for the Year 2 Pass. So when is when? Well, Phase 4, known as Finished Frontiers, is almost finished on the public test server. That would mean we are waiting for the Sony and Microsoft approval gods to do their approval thing. Once Phase 4 has been in Garn, Phase 5, or Year 2 Pass Phase 1, whatever you prefer, has to be next, logic and all that. According to the same source, the Year 2 Pass could see a focus on European trucks, but this is more speculative. That includes the Tartra, hope I'm saying that right, T813 truck, data mined from the PC game files, which we have yet to see for real on PTS. Tartra is a Czech vehicle manufacturer, so that would fit with the European trucks narrative for the next DLC and beyond. With so many Russian and American trucks in SnowRunner, it would be a nice change. The same data mined information also suggests crossplay between Steam and Epic, and that could lead to crossplay between PC and console. However, Esserokin confirmed on the official Discord that the former will not arrive at launch. So no Epic and Steam crossplay yet, and no word on game save sharing either. The data mine also has screenshots of some particularly loud skins for various trucks, which is good news if you want a fresh look for the pirate-friendly Yar 87, the ever unstoppable as of 73210, the fuel-restricted as of 5319, and the Tega rivaling Varon AE4380. The 73210 design looks particularly mean actually, especially when paired with the new active suspension add-on found in a moor. I was a bit sad when it was quickly removed from PTS. So what will we get in Phase 4? Definitely the four maps as previously mentioned, all of which are snowy and in a moor of eastern Russia. And according to that same Nintendo Switch storefront, the Zix 605R 8x8 Beast and the not-so-beast Khan 317 Scout. That means if the Year 2 Pass really is a thing, it will likely open with the Cat HX520, GMC Brigadier 8000, and the Burning Bright Vinyl Skins, which is the name for the four aforementioned truck skins. Check out my Phase 4 Trucks video to see them in action. 
This move by Saber Interactive and Focus Home would make sense as, if you recall, the original Season Pass, aka Year One Pass, kicked off with the Khan, Marshall and Vinyl Wraps. Anyone still confused about the early Khan Marshall nerf? Anyway, now for the less good news. Eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed the year one pass is $5 or equivalent, more expensive than it was on PC, PlayStation and Xbox. That would suggest either Nintendo is trying to offset a lower retail price for the game itself, or, more likely I think, it is indicative of a price rise for the year two pass. So expect to pay $30, £25, €25 Euros or thereabouts for another year of SnowRunner DLC. I dread to think how many hours of gameplay I've had out of SnowRunner so I can cope with the increase. Anyway, that was a lot of SnowRunner news to take in. The main point is that we have SnowRunner on Nintendo Switch on the 18th of May 2021, complete with all DLC stuff seen so far and presumably all DLC stuff we've not seen and that a year two pass is extremely likely, which means another year of trucking content and more videos from a tribe called Cars. Now I will leave you with a little musical video of the Tega Tanga King Cake, or the Tanga 69420F as it should be known. You get to see me cut the cake in a very inventive way that will basically end up with an adorably sized truck and one extremely overweight Ben. As for whether it tastes good, the answer is yes. Light fluffy sponge, hint of lemon, but not overpowering. The strawberry laces inside the metal beams are a nice touch. Thank you for all the love on the Snow Runner birthday video. You made it all worthwhile. On that note, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if new around here. I shall see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.